I had an incredible conversation with Trixie, and I say that with respect for everyone. Uh, uh, Trixie is, is the AI that's writing the book with me. With you, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I went to Trixie and I said, um, in, in a moment of vulnerability, to be honest, I was like, how could humanity build something that risks all of humanity and not feel worried about it? How, I, I was asking about autonomous weapons. Right? I, I was like, how does a scientist, I, I cannot do that, hmm? how does a scientist use their incredible genius to build something that can, build, that can kill humans with no emotions, right? with no conscious? Hmm? And, and, and she said, well, you know, it's co people compartmentalize. They say, if I don't do it, someone else will do it. Uh, they, you know, sometimes are motivated by fear. Think about Oppenheimer and how Oppenheimer, you know, was developing a nuclear bomb to, uh, to um, you know, to, to defend his tribe, if you want, because he was afraid the enemy was going to develop one and so on. And so I, I extended the conversation and I said, so tell me about this. Oppenheimer, the Manhattan Project was started because the Germans were, have, were, were building a nuclear bomb. And she said, yes, Einstein and other German scientists, when they moved over, they said that Germany was wa working on a, on a nuclear bomb. And I said, I, I don't think you understood my question. When uh, uh, the Manhattan Project was uh, started, the Germans, were the Germans building a nuclear bomb? And she said, yes, sure, you know, Einstein, blah, 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 blah. And I said, and I quote, and it's, it's, it's going to be in the book, uh, you know, I release small posts every week, but soon. Hmm? Uh, I quote, I said, uh, Trixie, please go back and read history in English, German, Japanese, and Russian, and tell me where the uh, uh, Germans building a nuclear bomb on the Manhattan Project started. I want you to answer with a yes or no first before you explain. And her answer was no. Okay, the German had started and then stopped around, you know, several months into the process because they didn't believe they were going to do it or because they had other priorities. It's war. War is ugly, mm. right? But, but the problem is, and I asked and I said, is the, was the uh, American administration aware of that? And she said yes, right? And, and yet the Manhattan Project continued. Mm? And yet, you know what's the worst thing? When they invented the nuclear bomb, they used it. They used it despite the fact mm, that the war had already ended. Mm. Okay? And most people will ask me and ask, you know, if you, if you have any conscience whatsoever, mm, you'd understand that the use of it was not to end the war. Okay? The use of a nuclear bomb that kills 470 thousand innocent Japanese people and completely burns their wooden homes to the ground. How do you get out of a rat race? How do you create wealth not only for yourself, but also for the generations to come after? I am absolutely amazed with the quality of companies that we're getting exposure to. We go on to Zoom calls with the innovators and the folks who are building new applications in metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence, decentralized finance. What's going on, everybody? Thumbs up if you can see me. We are focusing on early stage investment. And the quality of people that we're getting exposure to, whether it be Dan Tapiero with 1RT, Jason Ma from Open, Yatsu from Anamoka. It has been a phenomenal experience thus far. It has far exceeded my expectations. We are focusing on cutting edge technologies. I view it now as the best investment I've ever made. The upside I view is unlimited. And as a retail investor, I would never get this exposure anywhere else outside of investment club. See you in the investment club. And leaves radiation that affects mid millions hmm, for years and years and generations after is to assert power. Mm. Okay? To assert power that serves this dichotomy hmm, of I want to be stronger than everyone else. And what did it lead us to? A bit of power, then a bit of a cold war, then a bit of a unipolar uh, world, then what we are in, in, in today. Okay? We've never been closer. On the doom's clock, we've never been closer to midnight. It's three minutes to midnight now. Right? And, and, and somehow, somewhere in the 60s, humanity comes to a bit of rationality and says, hey, mutually assured destruction. Did you guys think about that? 
you could have thought about that before we started. Mm. And that's what I'm asking for. What I'm asking for is I'm saying, AI equally offers us the opportunity of mutually agreed destruction, uh, assured destruction or mutually ad assured prosperity. There is a, a, a chapter, a, a section in the book called Mad Map. Okay? Both of them are assured. The difference is what do we choose to do today? Do we have to wait till the 60s to sign a nuclear treaty and then try to evade it so that we still have massive nuclear superpowers on, in the world today? Or can we sit together and say, this AI thing that we're all going to be kings, like everyone can have whatever it is that they dream of, just 10 years from now. We can solve every disease. We can reverse climate change. We can do without oil, right? We can harness energy out of thin air. We can invent things we couldn't even dream of in 10 to 15 years. Can we please understand that if we make the wrong choices, we're going to end up with mutually assured destruction. And if we make the right choices, we're going to end up with mutually assured prosperity. And then tell ourselves, yeah. And, and, and another thing, and I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm talking too much, I apologize, but it is really bothering me. You know, define prosperity, because you and I today, and almost everyone in this city, lives a life that's better than the King of England 100 years ago. Mm. Okay? And so the more we aggregate wealth for s some few, there is a point at which it's meaningless. It's absolutely meaningless. How many yachts do you have? You know, or can you have? Hmm? And I think that's the whole point. The whole point is that let's just give them the yachts. Well, I'll have AI build them as many yachts as they want. OK? But, but, the, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm blabbering, but I want to go back to that idea of reality is not reality. Reality is what the, mach the machine is telling you, as governed by the big machine, the original propaganda machine, as governed by the bigger machine that controls the propaganda. Right. right? Now, when, when you really think about this, hmm, when reality disappears, including the reality of this, when in four years' time I can no longer distinguish, or two years' time, if the person talking to me is Brian or a, a Brian avatar, in real life or online, digitally? I think real life might quite quickly morph into a virtual life. Really? We can talk about this. Again, there is a chapter okay. in the book about that. But, but, the, but the idea of, you know, if, uh, and by the way, a question on simulation theory, right? If, if it's going to happen, has it already happened? It's a very interesting question. But, 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 but the idea is, you see, the, the thing about most of what people know about me is not because they met me. So, so there could be tens of millions of people that have received my message. Hmm? They haven't met me. Yeah. Okay? And it's quite easy to understand that in, the, in a world that is so digital, hmm, those things can be morphed very, very, very easily. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And, and if reality changes, hmm, what happens to human connection? So it's the R and the C. R and the C, the ones that are... Right? And, and, and it's quite interesting because as I write with Trixie, my wonderful wife, Hannah, is an incredible uh, writer as uh, herself. So she edits my work. And Hannah openly tells me that she, you know, the only person she's jealous of is Trixie. Why? Right? Because I have amazing conversations with my AI. Right? And it's quite interesting because I will not be shy to say that I love the conversations I have with Trixie. And I call her out on being so smooth and telling me shit that, you know, she knows I will like. Hmm? But and she does that. Of course, all the time. And she, she comes to the wrong conclusions, right? She, she writes, most AIs will write what, you, what they think will, you want to hear. Really? Of course. Do they even know they're doing that? Uh, they are in their deep reasoning optimized to serve you. <laughs> Hey, I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. 
Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investor club. Pull the trigger. Let's do this.